Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer in another episode two of, uh, I've called it this thing because I still don't know what the heck it is, but um, I've got, we went to Australia for first episode with Alex Etches. Uh, we're over in Indiana, America, pretty cold Indiana, I believe, and I'm really pleased to say we've got Randy from Fried Eggs Golf, hopefully on the end of the line, and um, Randy, welcome to the channel in the, um, well, the first time we've ever spoke in person. Yeah, this is true. Uh, how it first of all tell everybody just again how cold is indiana right now uh it's not comfortable i mean i don't i don't even know the temperature outside right now because i don't look anymore because it just is but you haven't played you haven't played golf for what two months uh at least yeah the last time i played golf was on camera so they would know just check the videotape yeah and how long is it before you're likely to get a, a golf club out again uh it's gonna be I would say another month, I would another say. Month or so. yeah. Wow, that is hard work, hard work. So any, I suppose you're ready for the Masters. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Right, now then. What Andy, I I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't see me there. I just realized you can't see me, but I held up my coffee cup and it says the Masters on it. That that is the that is the difficulty of uh, of this. So just so people understand, I'll talk, just uh, maybe talk to the camera a little while. This records the audio. I'm effectively just having a phone conversation. Is uh, is how this thing works. So I said before we went uh, live, if you like, that it's a little bit odd. It's difficult. It's not like a Skype conversation where you see the reaction of people. So that is a little bit difficult. But yeah. Um, so first of all, for people who maybe maybe most of the people who who, uh, who watch my channel, I think have have watched yours. But how would you describe your channel who've never watched it before? What what would you say, Randy? It's it's really hard to categorize it. I don't really know how to explain it to people because I get asked that question by uh, people that find out that I have a YouTube channel. They ask me what the content is and it's hard yeah. to explain because as soon as you say golf, their eyes glaze over and they don't <laughs> care anymore. But you'd yeah. also, I don't, I don't know. I just, my whole thing has always been to let people define it themselves, let okay. them come up with what it means because me telling them, I just feel like it doesn't do it any justice. Because if I tell them it's funny, they might not find it funny. If I tell them it's informational, they might find it not informational. Yeah. So, Okay. So if I describe it as a viewer, um, I think it's fair to say that you, um, it's very much looking at the golfing world in a humorous way. Is that fair enough? evaluation of it it's simplistic but i think that's the you bring humor to a sport that's relatively boring um so i think the the thing is i suppose go and check out the channel after for those of you <laughs> haven't watched it go and have a look for yourselves well, um, i i think that if if you're looking for something it's content in my this was my goal at least i'll say this was the goal when i started the channel when i decided what kind of content i wanted to make the goal was to combine both sides of the spectrum as far as the the serious yep. everyday golfer with yep. the person who's maybe never touched a golf club in their life but has some interest in it and the yep. idea was is that both of those people can sit down and watch my content and both enjoy it for different reasons yeah, and if yeah. i if i do that with a video then to me that video served its purpose and it belongs on my channel because that's really the whole idea is it's more of an invitation for everyone to kind of gather in a common area, find a common thread and, yep. and laugh or, you know, just enjoy the content in yeah, any yeah, way that, that they, whatever they get from it. Yeah. That's fair comment. That's fair comment. So I'm going to, um, a bit of therapy for you. I'm going to go back to the beginning of your channel. I think it was 2015. If I've got a bit of research, right. Um, your first video was uh, how to adjust your tailor-made R15 driver. Is that right? It was That's sound right? Riveting. Yes, it was very it was so it was a deep dive into the okay. into the driver. So that was video 1. Video 2, and I think it was 2 days later this was posted was the Cobra Fly driver. And already in two videos within sort of 48 hours of being released, a bit more personality was coming out in the Cobra Fly driver yeah. than maybe in the TMR15. Yeah, I was I was embarrassed in the first video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, all. I, I, I post I well I posted it and I did it in a format that I was like I've seen other people do this. 
I can do this. So I did yeah, it. Yeah. And then I was like, that's, yeah. that's not me. So the very next video, like you just said, I made sure that I put some more personality into it. Yeah, without doubt. And that was, like I said, that was not in the research. I seen that sort of straight away. But then one month later, and the first, I think it's the first, like I said, I hope my facts are right. The first R Rabbit and Q Tip collaboration was the Ping G30 Turbulators. Is that right? That's spot on. Okay, so we're, so we're four weeks from going from, or four, roughly four or five weeks from going from the TMR15 driver, which, and you should, I, I hope you don't mind me asking people to, you should go back and check this out because watch Randy in that first video and then watch him in the video four weeks later in the Ping Turbulator video. One that, a video that if anybody asks me about your channel, I think the Turbulator video was the first thing that I think is, is very synonymous with your channel. But how did you get so... I don't know, brave is the word, so quick to go from the R15 video to the Turbulator video. What what went on? A, a lot behind the scenes and a lot of what people don't know about me in general is that I started making videos when I started golfing, when I was 12 years old. I mean, and not just like videos, like I made comedy, like satirical videos when right. I was in middle school, like it was my, that was my thing. Like okay. golf, golf, it, it, they very much switched roles. Like I was very passionate about golf when I was younger and yeah. very, I, and video was my hobby. And now that I've gotten older, those two have completely switched roles where video is my passion and golf is my hobby. But I've been making videos like that since forever. I mean, I, I made music videos when I was in seventh eighth grade when i was wow. you know 12 13 years old i made music videos now i i never showed them to anyone but my friends but i yeah, yeah. Th this is not something new to me th this okay. is like everyone's always just like oh wow you're so you're you're a natural at this it's like no i've been doing this for a long yeah. time and I, I yeah it's it's it was a process but the, but the interesting thing so that's that's really long be i know youtube uh, was in its found uh, infancy i suppose but that's long before the kind of youtube thing came along for anybody isn't it if oh yeah, I know. I I made videos before YouTube was even a thing. I I right. actually had a channel when I when YouTube the first year YouTube came out. I had a thousand subscribers on it. I used oh, to right. post. I used to post a video a week on there. It was about. Uh, it was like it was like a skit comedy show, kind of like I do now, but it was like a series. Like they all kind of oh, tied right. together. And wow. um, I I got out of it because back then you didn't make money off of YouTube. Like you okay. know, I I had videos with tens of thousands of views on it but you didn't make money back then and i'm sitting here i'm like why am i putting content on here this is silly and i shut wow. the channel off just because i got tired but no i've i've been doing this literally since day one since youtube became a thing i've been posting videos on it so what 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 did that and what was the main core of the content for your early videos then was it just a, a, any kind of skit comedy that you could make uh, no you could find... i i i it was a, a friend of mine he was big into video gaming and we put a wig on him. You've seen the wig on the channel. I wear. I've worn it on Friday's golf before. That okay. real long, just nasty looking wig. That yeah, yeah. I did in, yeah, that I did in the yeah. one wheel video. Yeah, yeah. He, he used to wear that, and he was a um, he was an agoraphobic. He was someone who never left his house. He always played video games, and he played my brother. And I was his younger brother who had like a day job and I was like, you need to get out of the basement. And then we just played off of that relationship. And I think we did two seasons of it, probably like 20 episodes, something wow. like that. Yeah. So, you, so you, do you not miss that? Would you not go back to that or is it? Or, mm. or you... I miss it so much, but yeah. we, we got married. We had kids and I mean, yeah. it, it, you know, as well as anybody that makes content, it takes so much time. And yeah, yeah. You, you only have so much time to devote to things. And yep. golf, I, I was working in a golf shop when I started this channel. And this was the only, like, I, I had access to everything. I had, yeah. you know, the shop. I had people. And so I could make the content there. Now, if I had my choice, would I be making golf content yeah. on YouTube? No, I'd probably just be making comedy videos comedy. in general. But yeah. I like doing the golf stuff and it seems like there's a, an audience for it and they appreciate what I do. And I just, it's a way for me to tie, like I said, my passion with my hobby. And it's just, it's fun for me. If I, if I did anything else, I think it would eventually start feeling like work, but this is, yeah. it, it feels like I'm having a good time. Well, it, it, it's fantastic because we've just answered that uh, questions, uh, whatever they are, three and four have just been answered together really. Cause it was going to be, is the passion uh, is it comedy, golf, or cinematography? I've called it, or videography, whatever you call it. So it's the 
it's the creating it's the videography really isn't it would you say yeah or is I mean, it the comedy or you it, it's it's both i mean yeah i don't i don't put um i mean in the, in the early videos i didn't put a lot of investing uh, any time into the cinematography of it because i was shooting on my cell phone like yes. i the year before I started that channel, this is not a joke, I sold my $2,000 Sony Handycam that shot onto tape. And I had, to yeah, sell yeah, it. Yeah. I yeah. had to sell it because everything went digital and it was just yeah. impossible. I mean, that's how long I've been doing video. I used to have to oh. log and capture off a of tape and then you had to yeah, edit. Yeah. For, it took forever and it was miserable. Yeah. So, 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 so golf is literally the subject matter for you to write comedy and film it. I suppose that's that that that's that's where we're at, isn't it? Say that again. I said so. Golf really is just the subject matter, like you said, the situation you were sort of thrown into. Yeah, uh, that allows you to write the comedy around it and and therefore film it. Yeah, I, I think so. I it, it kind of was birthed from being in the golf shop, and yeah. I when I was in the golf shop, it was right at that transition from like okay, golf equipment needs to be more exciting. And th when these manufacturers started to market equipment, I mean, it was right in the rocket balls heyday where I, yeah, got, yeah. I got fed up with like, everything's just like, this is 15 yards longer, this is 10 yards longer. And I was like, listen, I could tell a better story than what you yeah. guys are telling. I can yeah. make, I can give people information and do it in a way that doesn't feel like you're, you know, throwing propaganda at them. So yeah. that's why I made the that Ricky Fowler video the way I made that Ricky Fowler video with the, yeah. the Cobra driver. And then also the reason I made the the Turbulators driver video, the reason I did it that way was because like, listen, I put every single talking point in this video yeah. and I did it through a rap song and people yeah. are hearing what message you're trying to give to them, but they're actually listening instead of like, in one ear, out the other. Yeah. I think, to be fair, it's one of the most intelligent things in part of what you do is that ability to get, in all those videos, the whole um, uh, marketing aspect, the, the, the benefits that they at least try to promote are always gotten in there really, really uh, concisely. So it's 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 humor, it's, it's fun, it might be in a song, but you do always get all that information across. And that's the bit, I'm going to ask a question a bit later on, so I don't want to go into it too much now, but that's the bit where I've never understood why still to this day, at least I think that those bigger companies have not gotten involved with you in a, in a deeper way that allows you to create that type of content for them. That's the bit that does surprise me. Because like I said, you don't miss out the important bit, which is what the manufacturer wants people to hear. So, but like I said, that's a statement, not a question at this stage. <laughs> you know what? I think I can form the question for you. And it's why haven't any of the big manufacturers asked you to make content for them? Yeah. And the yeah. answer I think to that question is very simple. It's I am a liability. I am I'm I'm a wild card. I'm I'm not ever going to play by the rules. I'm not ever going to yeah. say things that are politically correct just because I feel like, you know, yeah. people want me to say that. I'll say whatever's on my mind and I'll do it in a way that I think is funny, which is not yeah. always it's not always consistent with everyone's viewpoint on humor. So, it's a risk, but yeah, having yeah, said they're... that, I don't want to I don't want to alienate these manufacturers and say that they haven't reached out to me because they absolutely have. And I've done okay. content with them. One is, uh, I'll tell you right now that I will forever be grateful to uh, Callaway and Ping for what they've done for me yep. personally. Because it's yep. not like they, they had any interest. The content was already made. They didn't, yeah. they didn't have to do anything. Have it was it. already out there. But yeah. the very first person who ever reached out to me ever was Harry Arnett from Callaway Golf. He was okay. the first, he responded to my Ping G30 video before Ping did. Right. Like he was like, this is fantastic. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah. Don't even, I don't even know who you are. Like, I don't yeah. even, but I, I still have a, a, stand, a good standing relationship with him and all the guys at Callaway. I appreciate everything they do. But then also uh, Ping, they just, they've been one of those uh, manufacturers that consistently ask me if they can do anything for me. And this is just to this day. I just, like last week. They just sent me an email like, hey, what, what can we do for you? Wow. And they just constantly check in. And I do appreciate that. But they've they've all kind of in a roundabout way offered me a job. But okay. it, it's all about, I mean, they're 
they're a thousand miles away from where I live, and I just okay. I'm I'm too much. I, I I love my family too much. And yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm almost pleased to hear that. To be honest with you, the the fact that they've offered you something, um, I, I like you say, they have. You're gonna suddenly make yeah. a video out of. But I just feel better that um that that you, you the the contact the content has been acknowledged then. So maybe not the way as I'd seen it then really. No, I, and I do such, and this is, this is my MO. I'm, I'm just such a poor communicator with what's going on, like behind the scenes and uh, just people, they, they, they're so generous with their time and things that they, they want to do that I just, I, I say no. And then I, that's where it ends. And I don't yeah. bring it up to people because I don't want to, I don't want to be like, Oh, guess who asked me to do a video exactly. with them? It's just like, no, I don't yeah. have the time. No, no, I understand and that. And the same yeah, goes, no, you know, with, with you, you know, you've asked me to collaborate. Actually, you are the only golf YouTuber I have ever collaborated with as far as like, <laughs> well, I, I should say it another way. You're the very first golf YouTuber that I ever collaborated with. And yes. I, I just, you asked and you seemed passionate and you seem interested and that's all I look for. Like when people mm. come out to me and they, they, they ask me if I, if I want to collaborate with them it's almost always it almost always has a monetary angle to it. They always they want to make right. money off of me. They want to they okay. want they want to they want the publicity. They want the they want my my viewers. They want yes. they want something from me. But yeah, you yeah. you just genuinely wanted to make something uh funny. And I was like, "Hey, I'm all about that." So Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I mean, you know, it's I mean, even the same today, even this chat now, it's just something I'm very um I've always been personally interested. I'm a, I'm a bit. I'm a big admirer in what you do in terms of the content that you make. Um, but I'm also very interested in, and the, the questions I'll, I'll ask you shortly. Again, I'm very interested in um, the whole process, which is the next question, really, I suppose. And so, how do you begin the process in terms of? A, a, I was going to mention Taylor May then. So, a, a brand bring out a new product, okay, and and you see it. And how, how, where do you see the humor in it straight away? Is it a case of looking at what, what how do you, how, where do you start? Uh, it's, it's, it's a, a lightning bolt, you know, it, it's not like I, I take a club and, or a product and I sit down in a room with it for 30 minutes and I'm like, we're not leaving here until I come up with an idea. It's never like that. It's okay. always, uh, I, my brain is in a way broken. And I don't mean that in a way that's like, I mean, I'll just, uh, yeah, it's broken. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. My brain is yeah. broken. My brain doesn't work like a normal person's you brain. You see things differently, yeah, definitely. No, no, and this is not, th that's what I'm saying. It's not from a prodigy standpoint. It's very much broken in a way of a functional standpoint. Like, if I went to a doctor right now, he would be like, Randy, you have ADD and you need to take medicine for it so you can function like a normal human. But rather than let that be the story of me and let that define me, I've kind of embraced that because yeah. uh, most people that aren't that don't have trouble focusing, they just they go through their day and they they have things they have to do and they stay on time and they do everything accordingly. Whereas me, uh, you know, I'll see. Uh, a golf club sitting on the rack and my brain will go down this wormhole of right. like just, just, just dark, like Alice in Wonderland places. And I just, I, you know, and to see it from a, a, an outside perspective, it must look like lunacy. It must look, yeah. I must look like a madman. Cause my eyes, they just have like a glaze over them. I probably have drool coming out of my mouth, but it just, that's where my ideas come from. Is just like these deep dives into my own head that I don't think normal people take the time to sit there and physically like disappear into their own minds and, and kind of explore what comes up because uh, it's, it's messed up. It's dark, but I mean, it, 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 you get genuine inspiration and you get genuine thought and idea that way. And yeah. I, I mean, I don't know anything about psychology and I, I, I'm probably going to get some text messages like you need to see a doctor, but realistically, I just, I feel like, those moments where I get lost, that's where it all comes from. I mean, you're most creative. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think anybody again that watches your content, I mean, it's like you said, most, most they're of They're like, us, they're like, he's well, definitely crazy. He's a yeah, mad yeah, man. Basically, yeah. I was going to put it a bit more polite than that. But if you, if you look at, you know, the, the way you look at it or, or what you end up producing from the new, um, whatever driver, then nobody else is really, uh, I wouldn't have thought looking at it and being able to come out. I mean, the likes of the talking clubs that we've got at the moment and things like that. No one's really looking at it 
uh, in the way you are. But that originality is uh, is what's unique to you and to the channel, isn't it? That's what it is all about, basically. Yeah, I mean, n- no, no one, and I, I'm not saying this like I'm better than anybody, but no one will make the content that I make. And, no. and, and I think it's obvious because I'm, I'm sitting here three years into it and I dare you to go out and find another video exactly. that, 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 that they do things like I do. And, yeah. and there, there are a couple that do stuff uh, still very safe, very close to golf, but they're starting, you start to see humor and you start to see them add their personality into it. Alex is a perfect example of that. Yes, he, yes, he is. He's such a nice genuine person i'm not sure if you ever met him in person but no i've not he, the man is he's enormous he's the biggest he's, he's the biggest human he being. Really? oh he's enormous he's like six foot four and he's built like a, a linebacker i don't know if you know what that means uh, in the yeah, uk well, it's a, he's yeah, huge i get the idea but he's he, huge he could not be a more genuinely nice just yeah. warm like are you like it's just somebody you just want to pick you up and hold you like a baby he just is so yeah. it's so comforting and nice he, he, to be fair and like i said i had the chat with him uh, a week or so ago wherever it was now 10 days and he came across he, that way i, I kind of again it was a bit like we've never spoke but you kind of um I, I knew that i'd get on with him to be honest with you i knew that we'd get on and as soon as this um we we sort of press record we were we were very comfortable in each other's companies he, he come and, and even in the comments that people made on the video they also said, what a nice lad this fella seems to be. Do you know what I mean? And, so I think it comes across. And, but know that like what you see with Alex, that's him. Like yeah. what he, what is in his videos, that's him. That's not like, he's not like push record. Trying. He becomes another person because you see that a lot. You see the people you that they hit the record button and they become somebody else. He is that way. And I think that that is important because that I think is kind of a recipe of someone who has a successful channel. People always ask like, Hey, how do you, how do you get so many followers? How do you get people to watch your content? And people say, just be yourself. And you think they're being, you know, they're messing with you, but it's true. And that's what like, cause I'll tell you right now, Alex, he's exactly like that in real life. Yeah. Rick, yeah. Rick Shields. I've had the, the pleasure of hanging out with Rick on numerous occasions he is that person. He's yeah. uh, he's the nicest person, and for no reason at all. I mean, I don't, I I can't help him. I can't make him yeah. more popular. But yeah, he yeah, treats he treats me like I'm the person that he came there to yeah. meet. And he's just so genuine and straightforward, and just a good all around guy. And I think that that's important and part of his success as well yeah. as other people's success, including your own. I've never met you personally, but I've had multiple conversations with you. Yeah. I'm and I mean. For crying out loud, you gave me a drone. You gave me yes. a drone. And f- I, I, w- I still to this day have no idea why you did. I'm, yeah. I mean, I, I don't what? have any like dirty pictures of you to like blackmail you with. That's you just no. you just were like, hey, I want to send you something. And then the next day or the, yeah. you know, a couple of weeks later, a drone shows up. And it just it blew my mind. So that yeah. that that is once again. You are no, was, who you are, and you show that through your content, and you just, you just, you're yeah, not yeah. a fake person, and I appreciate that. I, I, th- I think while while we're on the drone question, because I, I know it's uh, uh, it's a question I've got here, and everybody wants answering, is that how did you make that drone look so smashed up in that video that you did? Is that is that was that CGI or something? Or <laughs> what are you talking about? You you know when you said you crashed the drone, and yet yeah. you made it you made it look like it's been smashed up, didn't you? <laughs> That's, I win. <laughs> I killed it. I mean, Andy, I killed it. I killed your drone. And I know no. what you're getting at. And I'm so sorry because like, I just, oh, the week after I crashed it, you just sent me like so many pictures of you like pushing it on a swing and like, you know, sitting there lighting birthday candles for it. And you're like, oh, well, you know, whatever, what happened to my drone? Yeah. I blew it up and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It was a. It was a. It was a good old boy for a while. I crashed that a few times, you know, but it never quite as bad as that. Uh, it. It. I am so thankful that, like, somebody wasn't standing under it because it. Like that's why they say don't fly yeah. it over people because it. It no, fell like lethal. a rock. Yeah, they're lethal. That thing did have a, a bit of a, a thing to just do its own thing every now and again, and that sounds like what's happened. So uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. The next question is about um, being renowned for being funny. Um, we, um, I asked a few questions early on the week in Twitter, asking for some um, 
questions to be fired at you. And we know how'd that, that jo- how'd that go? <laughs> Say again. How'd that go? Yeah, well, yeah. Um, lead, led me to this question because the uh, the basis was we didn't get one serious question. I mean, anything was either uh, fired at Ace or um, a- any other kind of again humorous element to the channel. So we didn't get. I don't. We might have a couple of your serious questions that I will ask you. Uh, we, we managed to get maybe three or four in the end. But how difficult? Is it is it a burden being renowned for being funny in the sense that does everybody want funny Randy all the time and is that difficult? Um, it it not really because like I said earlier, what you see is what you get with me, and I am very much that type of person where I I, I very seldomly am serious. It's hard for me to be serious, and it's probably a character flaw because there are times when you're expected as an adult to be serious. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I don't have that. I don't have that in me. Now, am I, I'm not a class clown. I'm not someone that, uh, you know, will stand up on a table and it's like, look at me, look at me. But I, uh, when people do have a conversation with me and they try to take it in a serious, I mean, much like this yeah, yeah. interview here. We're doing um, okay so far. I, yeah, I feel like I've held on you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. to, You're to trying. the serious aspect. But no, it's, I always try to add in a little bit of, yeah. Of, of funny because it's just who I am. It's what I enjoy. It's where I came from. You know, I grew up with, you know, three brothers. And then of course my dad, who yep. you guys have all seen. And it's just, we love to joke. We love to laugh. We love to make fun. And we just, it's all, it's all good. Yeah, I, I just, but no, I, I think the biggest problem, and you kind of alluded to it, is that when people do see me, uh, they want ace. Yeah, they want yeah. they want me to be ace, and yeah. I, I made a video on it on my channel where like people will come into the shop and they're like, yeah, I've like seen I'm it. I'm helping somebody like, that, but that's real. Like I'll help somebody, and then across the way you hear like whoop whoop, and I'm yeah. just like I can't do that right now. <laughs> yeah, like I'm yeah. I'm being yeah. paid to help people. I can't. Yeah, yeah. And then I but it, it's disappointing because I don't want to disappoint them you know i i I, I, I love the fact that they're fans of that but at the same time it's like my boss is standing right there if i yell but how good good must it be to have created a character that basically we all think is real i mean that's well he (laughs) but he is but he is though isn't he well yeah yeah i know i know I, i didn't i didn't create him he's not my creation now me putting him into that form and 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 recording video that was me but Every, it, you guys created him like every everybody doesn't that what they don't understand about ace is that i worked in a retail golf shop for 13 years yeah he is a, a, you've seen him a, he's a compilation of everything i hate about working in a golf shop yeah, i yeah. mean and i'm just like so i just wanted to make everything that is that into one character which is so funny because i despised him and i thought people would be like yeah. Oh my gosh, this guy drives me crazy. But kind of like those good, like, you know, like he's like, make him the villain. Yeah, no, no. But no, they love him. They love he's him the more than me. They, they yeah. want, they, yeah, they don't like Randy. They get out of here, Randy. Like yeah, right now, Ace? all the comments down below are going to be like, you know, where's Ace? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah. that, that's the, that's what's so beautiful about it is that they helped create him, you know, yeah. by, by essentially being him. So that's fantastic. Do, do you ever, um, I know the answer to the question, really, but I'm gonna. I'm still gonna ask it. Is that? Do you ever wish you'd have taken? I'm gonna start it a different way for the channel to have grown and to be bigger and to be maybe um, uh, uh, doing this as a full time job. Do you think if you'd have took a different route in more mainstream content, golf content, that is, would that have led to that? And would you have been happy doing that, or would that have been a big sellout? Uh, Andy, if I had one ounce of ambition in my body. Yeah. I I w- I would be scared to see where I'm could possibly be. I it is like and that's another misconception is that people think I'm like this outgoing like oh this guy's like he's he's at, he, he's he's next level like we want to we want to do but like I'm so introverted it's not even funny. Yeah. Like and it's a strange way because it's like I'm introverted when it comes to, to when I first like 
meet people or where I'm first in a, in a, a social situation. But yep. the more I get comfortable and the more you get to know me, the more of me comes out. But yeah. I'm just not outgoing. Like I said, I've been offered jobs to go work in Carlsbad. I've been offered to go work uh, in Arizona uh, with Ping. And I, I've been, I was offered to go work at my golf spot. And, and it's just like, I'm just like, nah, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's like, why? What? Like everybody else would be like, dude, what What are you doing? Go yeah. do that. But I'm just, I'm, I'm a strange, strange person. I am, I, I can't explain it to you it really. I mean, when Rick first met me um, down at the PGA show, like the next day he was like, I went home and told my wife because she's, seen like the turbulators video and he's like you would not believe that that's the same guy yeah, he goes, yeah. yeah he's yeah. like you would not believe how like just quiet and just yeah. level he is but then obviously the more i've gotten to know rick yeah the more he's been around he, me the more he's like this guy's an idiot you understand, like, I can't, yeah yeah he's like this guy's he's, he's no, I, I totally get it because one of the weirdest thing is i mean um and this is not not about me this video is about you but we we when um I came. I did this whole YouTube thing for for non, um, not no obvious reasons really. It was a, it was a pure f kind of fluke thing that I ended up doing a video, and um, we started. I carried on doing these things, but it was so far from uh, who I am, and still is because I'm the I'm a I'm a miserable swine. I'm I'm the person that in a room <laughs> I'm certainly not. I don't like being um, center of attention at all. Quite the complete opposite, um, really, and. It's funny how the last person I would have expected uh, it from my th would be to be comfortable on a camera yeah. and to be happy. And it's almost like it's almost like an alter ego thing where you become somebody different when the camera goes on, really. So I yeah. do get it. I completely get it. It's uh, let, it's a strange. Let me, one. let me explain to you. This is the best way that I can describe my personality. And it's like, you know, those birds that go into other birds nests and lay an egg. Like, yes. I, I, I'm that egg. Like, I, at first, I'm just like, I'm like, hey, don't pay attention to me. I'm just a regular egg. You know, I just, I need incubated. I need you to sit on me and keep me warm. And then, like, as soon as I hatch, though, I shove all the other birds out of the nest. You yeah. know, it's like, then it's, then it's about me. Like, that's, yeah. that's my personality. It's like, the closer I, and, and the, the more I infiltrate, the more I just take over everything. Yeah. Like you, you don't want to invite me along to do a collaboration because I'll yeah. just, I'll just take over. Take like it over. you, you, you yeah. asked, you asked me to collaborate with you. You yeah. sent me over the video content and then I edited the video because yes. I didn't, and yeah, I'm was, not trying to be rude. I didn't trust you to do it the right way. I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to yeah. just send you back the whole clip. And you're like, wow, why did you do this? And I, yeah. I, I, like, I cleaned up the audio. Like, yes, I, you I, did. It was and just... I still don't know how to do that to this day to that level. <laughs> well, I, I just, like I said, I, I very much come out of my shell and I, I just, I have two faces. I have who you first meet when you see yeah. me, which is not me. Cause I just, yeah. I kind of like feeling out the situation, but as soon as I get out of that shell, I mean, yeah. you can ask anybody that's just like, I'm quiet. And then one day I'm not. And then you're like, I wish you would go back to being quiet. <laughs> yeah, where, where's old Randy? Where's the old egg? <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh, I, I do need to find out. I, there's a piece of audio in that video that I still don't know how you managed to get my, um, um, the, the, the voice part of it as clear as you did, but I'll have to ask you that question at one point. Um, well, I did, anyway. it, my, I did it myself. I, I do, I do Welsh. So I just, I spoke into a mic. <laughs> Dubbed it over. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. you saw you saw my what's in the bag. I did, I mean, I feel like I did a a pretty good English accent. Yes, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, but, but more importantly, I, I am uh, I am Welsh, so you do need to polish up on that Welsh accent. Actually, I don't think I know the I don't know the difference between Welsh and like uh, what do you you have Welsh? You have well, kind of a language. It's a what? You speak English? No, no. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm speaking English right now, but Welsh <laughs> is a different language. Well, this is hard to grasp because everybody. I don't want to get. I don't want to make this video political. <laughs> this is this is public schooling right here. Speaking on yeah. this, this is no, this is what you get for your tax dollars in America. Right the, here. Pro the problem is, is all, all all the comments now down below are all going to be about uh, the Welsh because the the Great Britain is made up of uh, of Scotland. Ireland, England, and Wales, but unfortunately, 
Um, everybody thinks it's just made up of England. I'll have to delete that bit because I know that I'm going to get sick <laughs> over it. It's going to have to come out. But yeah, yeah it's, it's a different it's, language. Yeah, there you go. Was it a fun job or was it just the, the bits that you made fun when you did the videos or was it? No, I Quentin's a jerk and I hate him. <laughs>